when it comes to protein, when it comes to protein, it's the king. Protein is the king. Some could say that it's the queen. <laughs> I probably should say it's the queen, right? Meaning it's the best. It's the very best for healing. So when I'm talking to you about protein, I am also talking to you about that's the nutrient that's going to help keep you here in balance. Protein. Protein is your healing nutrient. Fats and proteins can give you sugar or glucose or energy. Okay, fats and proteins can give you sugar, glucose, or energy, but fats and carbs can never give you protein. Do you understand that, what I'm saying there? So that's why protein is really key because fats and carbs cannot convert into protein. If you're having um, problems with your gallbladder, you're gonna notice some things like hair loss. You're gonna notice things like tremors. You might notice that when you get your blood work done by your doc, you might have high blood pressure, high triglycerides. You might notice that um, you're a slow morning starter. Maybe you're really grumpy in the morning. This could be gallbladder related. You might experience a lot of lightheadedness. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. You might have a lot of pain in your abdomen. These are usual gallbladder issues right here. These are these tend to be gallbladder symptoms. So the key is I'm talking to you about some of these gallbladder symptoms, but also even before we are really talking gallbladder, we need to be talking about low stomach acid, okay? And so all the things I put up on the board, those are classic symptoms, but understand that if you're not properly digesting food, fats, carbs, proteins, vitamins, and minerals, if you're not properly digesting food, then you are in fair play for any kind of symptom. And so a question I often get is, Dr. Christine, do I have a leaky gut? The answer is yes, you do. It's just how leaky is it? What is the severity of your gut being leaky? Because you cannot live in America or elsewhere, any kind of, um, you know, society that's not a third world country, let's say the third world countries actually get, get a better diet. You can't, you can't live in our day and age because we have all the, the genetically modified products. Um, we have things that they're spraying in the air. There's pretty much no chance that you... You can't avoid a leaky gut is what I'm trying to say. So when we have a problem digesting food, it's going to impact your stomach. You're going to have low stomach acid. When you have low stomach acid, you are not going to have proper bile. And when you don't have proper bile, you're not going to properly digest your food either. If any of these resonated with you and you want some help in a natural way, I offer you my gallbladder protocol. And I have a really special price for that for you right now. So the gallbladder protocol are these three products. And what I have for you right now is these three on sale with no shipping. So they're on sale. You're going to save, I think it's, um, I think it's like $9 you're going to save, but you're going to save $15 on shipping. Please keep this in the U.S. only. Okay, so U.S. only. But these three products, $99, period, no shipping. Okay, so what are they? Well, the very first thing that you would take would be this guy. And this is called Smart Lymph. Smart Lymph. Your body's lymphatics is your body's sewer system. And so what's in here are all the enzymes you need to take on an empty stomach. You would take three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night, empty stomach, that's it. Three capsules when you first wake up, wait one half hour, then you could eat. For your PM dose, you're gonna take three caps two hours or longer after dinner. Three capsules two hours or longer after dinner. That's the first of the three products for the protocol of the gallbladder. Okay, then 15 minutes before your main meal, so your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, you're going to do an entire dropper full of this product here, which is a digestive bitter. And so what is in here are all the different bitter type herbs which help to ring the, the doorbell, if you will, to the gut. It's like priming the digestive pump. If any of you are watching that maybe don't have gallbladder issues, but you have heartburn issues, if you had acid reflux, this is for you too especially uh, people who have having burning into their, into their mouth and their throat, this is for you as well. This product contains the herbs, as you can see here, like dandelion, like burdock, like fennel. These are naturally uh, bitter type herbs which help to prime the digestive pump. They also help to tonify the lower esophageal sphincter, which should be tight, 
not flaccid. And so when that sphincter is not secure, that's when that undigested food's gonna leak into your throat and that's not pleasant, okay? So this is the digestive bitter, the product number two in my protocol, and this would be taken 15 minutes before your meals, your big meals, okay? You don't have to do it with snacks. So that means, <clears throat> excuse me, that means um, you sit down to eat at noon and at 11.45 you're gonna do this, 15 minutes before, okay? Your breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So again, empty stomach, three caps twice a day, 15 minutes before your main, your main meals, you're doing a whole dropper full of this, just put it right in your mouth. And then at the start of your meal would be Smart Carb. And this is your digestive enzyme. This is gonna help you properly extract the energy from your fats, your carbs, and your proteins. Do you understand? We need enzymes to properly extract the energy from our food. And this is what's in, the, in this product here, you can see that. There's turmeric, black pepper, cinnamon, and all the enzymes you need to digest food, okay? So what I have for you right now is this three pack is on sale for 99 bucks, no shipping. Okay, so you're saving, I, I feel like that is something like 20 bucks or something like that, or maybe more, I'm not positive. But it's on sale is the point. So you're welcome to pick this up. We'll ship this to you anywhere in the US for free. You don't have to put in any codes, none of that. I already took care of that for you. And so you're gonna want to go to bit.ly forward slash Dr. Christine GB for gallbladder. Whether you have right-sided pain, left-sided pain, if you have a lot of gas and bloat, if you are a slow morning starter, if you have any abnormalities to your stool, your bowel movements, you should be looking at your bowel movements. They are huge indicators to your gut health. Your bowel movements should look like a torpedo or a, a log, if you will. They should not be pebbles. They should be Hershey chocolate brown. Sorry, Hershey's. Hershey chocolate brown. They should stay together when you flush. They should not break apart. And there should not be a lot of residue on the toilet paper. I'm just telling you. If you have constipation, this goes back to your gallbladder because your gallbladder stores bile. If your bile is too thick, you have usually constipation issues. On the converse, if your bile is too watery, you have diarrhea issues, okay? And so this has a lot to do with the gallbladder. So that's why I'm giving you this gallbladder protocol. It could be used for heartburn, my protocol that I'm giving you here. It could be used for anybody watching my video for the first time that wants to get a better gut going and they wanna get less of a leaky gut, they wanna have more energy. All of these things can apply because food is the real medicine. Prescription medications will never heal your body, people. They will never, ever heal you. Prescription medications are dangerous. Some of them are necessary. I get that, like insulin and stuff like this. I understand. However, I can't tell you how many countless patients come through my office over the last 18 years who are needlessly medicated and are on other medications on top of that because those medications are creating problems elsewhere in the human gut. So food is the real medicine, and we need to be really looking and being responsible and accountable for what we are eating. <laughs> we need to be drinking more water. We need to be avoiding the five belly busters and so on and so forth. All right, so here, let's say I have a stomach. And here's your head up here, here's your esophagus, and here's your, your stomach. And so in your stomach, you should have this thick uh, coating of mucus. That's good, okay? Nice, we want that. Right here, you have this, this, uh, this sphincter or this flap called the lower esophageal sphincter. And so what happens is you want that valve to be nice and tight. But what happens is it gets really loose and the acidic stomach contents mixed with food, they can leak past that flap and that can create sad face, okay? Not good. The point is, is if you already have heartburn issues, you are either having issues with like ulcers where the mucus lining has, has worn away and you need to replace that stomach lining with things like marshmallow roots, slippery elm, okay? Dandelion, things like this. Uh, so either you're having a problem there, or most of the time the problem is here with this sphincter, the lower esophageal sphincter. So what you want to do is you want to make that sphincter tightened or constricted. And that is the whole point of the product I have, the bitters that I showed you in this protocol. All right. Now, when you're taking a, a proton pump inhibitor, you have a scale in our body um, called the pH scale. Well, not just in our body, but in everything. Okay. It goes from 0 to 14. 7 is right in the middle. Okay, that's what we would call neutral. And that's where water is. The sweet spot for digestion to happen is like between 2.0 and 4.0. You want your stomach, stomach contents to be acidic. That's essential in order to digest proteins, fats, carbs, specifically proteins. But when you take an antacid, you are not allowing your stomach acid to get this acidic. You're lingering around here or here or here. And now you're not going to do two specific things. 
When you take an antacid like a meprazole, you are not gonna properly digest protein, not gonna happen, and you're not gonna properly absorb minerals. Minerals like sodium, minerals like potassium, minerals like calcium and zinc. Not gonna happen like you want because you've not allowed the stomach to do its magic right here. Only in this pH of 2.0 to 4.0, only in that area are you properly able to digest protein and absorb minerals. But now you're cutting off those two essential processes by taking an antacid. This is why the medical model is broken. Your hypothalamus is an area of your brain, a gland in your brain that can check everything going on. It's one of the main regulators of homeostasis or balance in your body. If it were so that your body is starting to get too much stomach acid, your body will shut that cycle off because that's how smart and magical and elegant our body is. It's an amazing machine with which we give very little credit. It's the truth. All right. If we had cars where if we got a flat tire and they automatically inflated, we would give that car way more credit than we give our body every single day. All right. The best doctor of all is the one that resides within each and every one of us. So the fact is, is you make too little stomach acid. The fact is, is that you have a lower esophageal, lower esophageal sphincter that is too flaccid and we need to get it more constricted. And so that's what the point of bitter herbs are, is they help to, sh to, to strengthen or tighten up that valve. So think of like a, a bag of balloons, right? You get balloons, you, you bring the first one out of the package and you have to stretch it before you blow it up. Otherwise you're gonna mess up your cheeks, right? We've all done this. So think of your lower esophageal sphincter like that brand new balloon out of the package. It's nice and tight. Now I want you to think about the people who are watching who have heartburn issues where it's coming into your throat. Your lower esophageal sphincter is much like that balloon that's been stretched, stretched, stretched too much. Does this make sense? So that seal, if you will, between your stomach and your esophagus is not secure. It's been breached. And so what causes this kind of thing? Well, eating foods that are full of GMO, uh, eating foods that um, are too much sugar, eating foods that haven't been properly digested, not taking a digestive enzyme, uh, emotional stress and worry, this can do it. Prescription drugs can do this. So these are the reasons why we have that and how you fix it is, as I've mentioned before, you take digestive enzymes and you take bitters which are gonna to help to strengthen up that sphincter. I hope that makes sense. If you're interested in my gallbladder protocol, it's three products. Again, you can get there by going to bit.ly forward slash DR Christine, that's C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E. The link is in the profile here or in this video. You're getting, um, so it's bit.ly forward slash DR Christine GB. If you have heartburn, this applies to you. If you've had your gallbladder removed, this applies to you. You're getting three products for 99 bucks. You're saving over 20 bucks. First, you're gonna take Smart Lymph. This is something that something that you would take on an empty stomach. And here's what's in it, nothing but enzymes, okay? If you are a strict, strict vegan, I am letting you know that there are enzymes from a pig that I use in here because they are good for inflammation, okay? And it's amazing. This product, everybody that comes through my practice essentially gets this product at least once or twice. It's amazing, helping to clean up your body's sewer system. Then you're gonna get, this is included in your in the protocol. This is a digestive bitter. You would take one dropper full 15 minutes before you eat. Quickly again, if you're just checking this out, this is what's in this, all your amazing herbs. Okay, and lastly of the protocol for your gallbladder, if you have heartburn, if you have a lot of gassy bloat, uh, if your bowel movements are a mess and you wanna start somewhere, this is what I would recommend for you as well. And this is your digestive enzyme called Smart Carb. And you can see what's in here. Black pepper, turmeric, cinnamon, and all the enzymes you need to digest your food properly, okay? And so these are the three products. If you're interested in learning more about me, you can go to virtualdigestiondoc.com. You can see more about me there. And my main site is thedigestiondoctor.com. It's a matter of looking at what's causing your issue. We all have stress. We all have stress in three categories, emotions, physical things, chemical, environmental, nutritional things. The answer is to look at what's the source of stress and reducing it, removing it.